the sound of silence that's what we are heading towards with electric mobility we are at mahindra's facility near chennai and we've been given the keys to the xuv 400 electric what does this car offer is it fast is it efficient we are going to tell you all about it but before we do that do remember to subscribe to the auto today youtube channel and press that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we go live with a new video now back to the xuv Now let's start up by saying that the XUV 400 is not born electric. It is a part of the XUV range and it has been modified to become an electric vehicle. And as far as the design is concerned, what we heard from the legend Pratap Bose is that he's worked very hard to make this car differentiate from its ICE counterparts. Now what has happened? The front end has been completely redesigned. There's no grill out here, but these copper elements have been included which differentiate or rather identify itself as the electric. Also the new Twin Peaks logo have found space here and what I particularly like is the use of the copper finishes out here. Now lovely little daytime running light as has been a signature in most Mahindra vehicles and then lovely little copper elements up front. So overall when you look at the car from the front you know that this is the electric XUV which is heading towards you. So there are very little things which will differentiate the XUV 400 with its ICE counterpart and that's a good thing because the first thing which you have to understand with electric vehicles is that they should not be substantially different from the ICE counterparts and this will help in people accepting them in their day to day lives now as far as the differentiation goes of course you have this lovely two tone paint job lot of copper colored elements around the side and you have the 16 inch alloy wheels lovely looking mirror with led indicators the only differentiating factor is the charging point which sits here as compared to the ice where it sits at the back apart from that in profile you can see the huge wheelbase and this makes it one of the most spacious cars in its class so when it comes to space we'll show you that inside but overall dimensions this car is big and looks rather handsome now again at the back the xuv resembles the ice counterpart very very closely However, as we said before, there are a lot of copper elements which differentiate. So you can see the Twin Peaks logo in copper and the XUV lettering in copper. LED tail lights looks very nice, very bright, lovely looking thing and a nice little spoiler up there which is in copper again just to contrast. And I must tell you here that they've offered really vibrant colors. Uh, there's this black and the copper. There's a beautiful blue. Then there is a lovely ash colored color. So overall these colors, I mean we've been driving all of them, so I've seen all the colors and they look really nice and different. But where the car has remained an XUV ice is the boot space. Now, if I pop the hood open, you can see a massive boot out here. You can have more than a weekend's worth of luggage here. As you can see there's a lovely little bag out here. This is our camera bag which we always take. And in spite of the bag being here, there's so much space all around. The only nitpicking I can do here is that the loading lip is really high and that was also the case in the older XUV. That has remained so you have to lift the luggage, put it in. That's the only kind of work you have to do. Apart from that, you also have a lovely little 60/40 split seat. So in case you want to have more luggage space, you can always pop the rear seat back and have more luggage. Overall, there's nothing to complain about this boot. Lovely place, lot of space, no obstructions of any sort in the boot. Let's get inside. Show you inside the XUV 400. Now before we delve inside let us tell you that the XUV 400 is the largest vehicle in its class and that's because it's based on the XUV 300 as far as powertrain goes the 400 gets a front axle mounted electric motor that produces 150 horsepower and 310 newton meters of peak torque power to the motor comes via 39.4 kilowatt hour battery pack which can power the 400 for 4 5 6 kilometers before it needs a recharge Recharging time depends on the power source and as a result when plugged into a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger the batteries can be juiced up from 0 to 80% within 50 minutes when charged via 7.2 kilowatt outlet it takes about 6 hours and 30 minutes for a 100% charge Now let me take you through the interiors of the XUV 400 Now for starters there are a little bit of 
accents of the copper theme which you saw outside has been carried over inside as well so you can see the air vents which has a nice copper surround on it and apart from that the dashboard remains unchanged as compared to the xuv 300 now um, nice setup very spacious cabin it's got a lot of these places where you can store your mobile phone or your knickknacks a lot of space on the door pockets and then you have this infotainment system now this is the only thing which we can nitpick because it's a bit small in size now modern day systems are bigger they offer you better visibility so we would have preferred if mahindra would have given this an upgrade as well now on the center console you have the controls for the air conditioning system and the nicely integrated buttons out here operate various functions which include the trip and the mode buttons so quite nice i must say again in this particular vehicle we don't have uh, wireless charging so that's a miss on a car of this size and category as far as the instrument panel is concerned again it's a two pod affair as compared to the ice vehicle we have a charge and a boost gauge out here on the left hand side and then on the right hand side we have the speedometer and in the middle a beautiful little digital display which tells you various functionalities as far as the charge is concerned range trip and so on the steering wheel too is similar to the old car and what has changed is the twin peaks logo have come here we also get a nice little sunroof which is a india favorite now so overall there's a lot of space there's a lot of features in the car and this truly impresses us if you look at the segment the xuv 400 sure makes a case for itself because it's a much larger vehicle now the benefits of that or rather the longer wheel base is the fact that you have a lot of space at the back ingress egress is really easy because the door aperture is really nice it's easy to get in and then once you are on the seat you have a lot of space as well now the seats have been set up to my driving position and my height is 56 for reference and in spite of that i have a lot of space here uh, what i also like is the amount of headroom you get here it's not a claustrophobic feeling inside and also the window line is really nice and you get a nice view outside what i also like is the integration of the central armrest like so you get twin cup holders here again if we talk about misses no rear ac vents here now let me tell you about the xuv 400 and how it drives we have been very fortunate enough to get the exposure of this area which is uh, mindas testing facility and this allows us to do a lot of things which uh, is not rather safe on the indian roads so it's a enclosed circuit and i can tell you how this car performs now there are three modes which is called uh, fun fast and fearless so right now we are on fast which is the second mode and the acceleration is absolutely brilliant it comes up instantly and you can see the boost gauge coming up like really fast you know on the on the instrument panel so overall uh, the acceleration on this car is really really impressive if you are one of those who enjoy driving as in like going fast this car will really impress you now the moment i switch onto the fearless mode from here the car changes its aura completely it's all about acceleration it's all about going fast and that's something which is really impressive getting on to 120 kmph is no big deal in in fast mode the car is limited so at about 120 130 you will see the power tapering off but the moment you switch to the fearless mode the car keeps going till it hits its top speed of 150 km an hour and even at those speeds the car stays so well planted onto the road it gives you enough confidence but the only thing is that when you start going that fast you have to understand that with electrics the the problem is that you don't realize how fast you are going so right now i am on 80 i hit it and within seconds i'm sitting at 100 and the feeling of speed is not there because there's no noise which comes along with the car so you know the, the engine revving and all those things are not there you suddenly cruising and the only thing you hear is the tire noise and this car goes to about 130 in in the middle mode which is the fast and then when i press a button like so it moves into fearless and then it goes all the way up to 150 effortlessly even at 150 it's like it's been choked so you know it's been artificially limited at 150 this car could do much faster speeds but because it's an electric you can have a lot of 
electronics to keep it curtailed so overall this car feels really nice on the smooth stretch of road or a straight pave of road it's really nice to drive and uh, enthusiasts will really enjoy this while we were driving on well paved closed circuits we will reserve our judgment on ride quality till we get the 400 out on the road but preliminary feelings are positive and the suv offers a good ride quality when it comes to the steering it sure weighs up as you go up the power modes however what it lacks is a bit of feedback which is rather necessary for a suv this powerful the xuv 400 then offers good features and space and at the same time gets a respectable range of 456 km moreover it sure is quick now the thing to watch out for is the pricing which will come in january 2023 Once Mahindra gets that right we are sure that the XUV 400 will create havoc in the segment